What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. All right, thank you for tuning in to another reaction video. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing all right. I can't complain. Today we're here back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to iOS 14, eight tips for getting you started. Okay? I just downloaded. I mean, what you call it? iOS 14 as well. And you know, so far so cool. You know, I don't know everything about it. I'm trying to find if there's any new tricks I didn't know about and I can learn. All right, but let's see what's up. Let's get into the video. So you just installed iOS 14, yes, but you don't know where to start? Well, yeah, sure. here are some tips to help you get started. Let's start off by cleaning up that home screen of yours. Reduce the clutter. iOS 14 offers users to remove entire app pages from their home screens really? and store everything in the new app library. To do this, simply long press on your home screen to enter into what Apple calls jiggly mode, Ooh. and then tap the page indicator icon at the bottom. From here, you can uncheck entire pages at one time in order to help reduce clutter. You can also long press on an app and tap remove from home screen to avoid deleting the app entirely, but instead move it to your app I get my phone right here too. To access your app library, just swipe from right to left. Now that you've removed all of those unnecessary oh. apps from your home screen, it's time to fill that space with useful information that can be found inside of some of the new iOS 14 widgets. Head back into jiggly mode by long pressing the home screen and then tap the plus icon in the top left corner. You can now scroll through a list of your system and first party widgets available now with more to come from third party developers very soon. There are multiple sizes of widgets to choose from and you can even create stacks of widgets by dragging and dropping them on top of one another and then swiping up or down to actively switch to see which widget is present at each time. If there's a person or group that you chat with frequently and you want those conversations in a more easily accessible location, then you should take advantage of iOS 14's new pinned conversation feature. Okay. You can do this by swiping from left to right on the individual or group's name and then tapping the pin icon. Pin messages stay right at the top for quick and easy access. If you're in an overly active group chat, there are a few things that you can do to make sure some of your messages don't go unnoticed. You can long press on a message inside of a chat to find the new inline reply feature, and you can also specifically mention or tag a person's name, which sends a notification to that person, letting them know that their name has been mentioned in the conversation. To do this, simply type the person's name and then tap on it to mention them. You can now send audio messages using Siri to friends and family by just asking Siri to send your friend an audio message. It's very quick and convenient. Safari received a few helpful features like a new translate button that lives inside of the navigation bar and appears when you would need it. Just tap the text icon in the navigation this bar too much and then big. select translate that. to English or oh. whatever your language is okay. set to. I don't need that. There's also another new feature that you can find by tapping that text icon in Safari. All the way at the bottom is a new privacy report option letting you know how websites are tracking you and giving you more information about how each website treats your privacy. And finally, if you own AirPods or AirPods Pro, iOS 14 and AirPods firmware update now brings us new features like spatial audio for you AirPods Pro owner out there that gives users a surround sound element using dynamic head tracking to put sounds happening on screen in the right place in your ears, oh. even if you turn your head or move your device. Pretty Both cool. sets of AirPods will also receive the new automatic switching feature, which seamlessly moves audio between devices without having to manually select your AirPods in settings. And you'll also get a blessed new notification letting you know your AirPods are about to run out of battery, giving you the ability to charge before they run out completely. These are just a few of the many new features, tips, and tricks that are out there for iOS okay. 14. And if you want more in-depth walkthroughs of each feature out there, or some tips and tricks, okay. be sure to check out the channel for all of our okay, previous okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's enough of that. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like it. It's, it's, it's pretty simple, to be honest. You know, Well, not simple. Maybe, I won't say it's not hard, it's not complex either. But maybe if I give it some more time, I'll get the hang of it. You know? But that should be interesting. I look forward to trying it out. It's pretty cool. See? I got it. I got it going on. See, I got it. You guys see? Can't see you guys. My news. I got some news in my phone. I want to show you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Comment all that good stuff down below in the comment section. Anything you want to see your boy react to, let me know, and I'll try my to react to it as soon as possible. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy. Be safe. And until we meet again, remember the world is yours. Peace.